The Cedar sinai Pancreas Cancer Research Program uh, is important for many reasons, but mostly to try to improve the outcomes of our patients with pancreas cancer. We're really focused on bringing new medications to our, directly to our patients, working with clinical trial consortiums, including the Precision Promise Consortium, to expedite and move you know, new therapies faster to our patients. And we're really focused on improving how patients feel. Wearable technologies are so helpful to this field, I, I can't even explain it. Um, you know, we've had so many medications that are this close to being approved that focus on patient well-being and overall health, um, but they, we couldn't actually get the regulatory agencies like the FDA to approve it because they want to see how patients perform. And until now, the way we would do it is we would literally set up in the clinic, we put a piece of tape that goes 10 feet across, and when someone would say, okay, walk this, these 10 meters, and someone would stop watching, would, would measure it. Or we would give them what's called a dynamometer, which is something where they, they squeeze it to try to measure their strength. And none of those instruments worked, none of them were good. But of course, Fitbit comes along and everyone's wearing them for fun, and it just makes all the sense in the world. How come we're not monitoring patients on the daily and just making sure that we know what they're doing at home, how they're doing, how they're feeling. Uh, we can measure their sleep, we can measure their heart rate. Some of these technologies are actually developing to the point where we can monitor your temperature, your blood, uh, blood tests at home, all through the uh, wearable device. The most important thing that I tell patients, I believe, is uh, I make sure that they understand that, you know, statistics are not really meaningful uh, to a single patient. That, you know, they're, they're, what's going to happen with them is not based on what's happened to anyone else in the history of the world, right? They're their own unique person. They have their own unique future. And we don't know, you know, exactly what's going to happen. And there are just as many uh, amazing stories as there is there anything else. So we always try to stay hopeful. We try to understand the seriousness of the condition and that we definitely have a lot of work that we have to do together. But uh, no doubt that the, the future is definitely bright. And every you know, day, every week, every month, there's a new treatment, there's a new idea, um, there's new reasons for hope.